Ever wondered why your computer seems to slow down over time? Or why it takes ages to open a simple Word document? You're not alone. This is a common issue that many of us face, but we often chalk it up to old age or just the way computers are. But what if I told you that it doesn't have to be this way? Just like a car, your computer needs regular maintenance to perform at its best. And while you may not be able to see the dust and grime that can slow down a machine, rest assured, it's there. It's lurking in the form of outdated software, unnecessary files and inefficient settings. But don't fret, there are ways to tackle this issue head on, to take back control of your machine and ensure that it runs as smoothly as the day you first powered it on. So buckle up folks, today we're going to delve into the world of computers and learn how to improve your computer's performance. Before we dive into the solution, it's important to understand a few basic concepts. When we talk about a computer's performance, we're really talking about how efficiently it processes data. This ability largely depends on three key components, RAM, processor speed, and hard drive space. Think of RAM, or random access memory, as your computer's short-term memory. It temporarily stores data that your computer is actively using. The more RAM your computer has, the more data it can process simultaneously, which means faster performance. Next up is the processor. This is your computer's brain. It's what does the actual computing. Processor speed is measured in gigahertz, and a higher number means a faster processor. The faster your processor, the quicker your computer can think and react. Lastly, we have hard drive space. This is your computer's long-term memory. It's where all your files and programs are stored when they're not in use. If your hard drive is nearly full, your computer will slow down because it's harder for it to find the files it needs. Now let's talk about why computers slow down over time. One of the most common reasons is that your hard drive gets cluttered with unnecessary files. This could be temporary files that your computer forgot to delete, or it could be programs that you installed but no longer use. Either way, they're taking up valuable space that could be used for more important things. Another common reason is that your computer is running too many programs at once. Every program you have open uses a bit of your RAM. If you're using all of your RAM, your computer will have to start using your hard drive to store some of the data it needs to process, which is much slower. Finally, outdated software can also cause your computer to slow down. Software developers regularly release updates to fix bugs and improve performance. If you're not keeping your software up to date, you're not reaping these benefits. Now that you're familiar with the basics, it's time to roll up our sleeves and get started on improving your computer's performance. The first step towards a faster computer is cleaning up your hard drive. When our desktops or laptops start to lag, it's often because our hard drives are cluttered with unnecessary files and applications. To get things running smoothly again, we need to do some digital housekeeping. Think of your hard drive as a bookshelf. When it's neat and organized, you can quickly find the book you're looking for. But when it's cluttered with books you no longer need, finding that one book becomes a time-consuming task. The same principle applies to your computer. So let's start by deleting those files that are no longer needed. This includes any documents, images, or videos that you've already backed up elsewhere, or simply don't need anymore. Be sure to check your downloads folder as well, as it often becomes a dumping ground for forgotten files. Next, let's tackle those unused programs. We've all downloaded applications with the best intentions only to never use them. These unused programs take up valuable space on your hard drive and can slow down your computer. So go through your list of installed programs and uninstall those that are gathering digital dust. Now you might be thinking, I've deleted files and uninstalled programs, but there's still a lot of space being used up on my hard drive. Don't worry, we've got a solution for that too. Your computer has built-in cleanup tools that can help. These tools can remove temporary files, system logs, and other unnecessary data that's clogging up your hard drive. And there you have it, you've successfully decluttered your hard drive. Remember, this isn't a one-time task. Just like a bookshelf, your hard drive needs regular tidying to keep things running smoothly. With a clean hard drive, you've already made a significant stride towards a faster computer. Now let's move on to the next step, updating your software. But that's a topic for the next scene. Stay tuned. The next step is ensuring your software is up to date. Now you might wonder, why is this so important? Well, updating your software is like taking your car for regular servicing. 
It keeps everything running smoothly and helps prevent problems before they occur. First off, let's talk about your operating system. Whether you're using Windows, macOS or Linux, it's crucial to keep it up to date. Updates often fix bugs, patch security vulnerabilities and sometimes even add new features. To check for updates, you'll typically need to go to your system settings. Look for an option that says Update or Software Update. If there's an update available, go ahead and install it. Remember, it's a good practice to back up your important files before a major update, just in case. Next, let's move on to your applications. Just like your operating system, your apps also need regular updates. They bring improvements, new features and security patches. Most apps notify you when an update is available. However, you can manually check for updates in the app settings or the app store you downloaded it from. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds like a lot of work. Isn't there a faster way? And you'd be right. Thankfully, there are software update tools, also known as driver updaters, that can help you update all your software at once. They scan your computer for outdated software and let you update them all in one go. But remember, not all these tools are created equal. Make sure you use a reputable one to avoid unnecessary headaches. Lastly, don't forget about your web browser. Keeping it updated is crucial for a secure and smooth web browsing experience. Most modern browsers update themselves automatically, but it doesn't hurt to check. And there you have it. Updating your software might seem like a chore, but it's an essential part of maintaining your computer's health and performance. Plus, it gives you access to the latest features and improvements. Remember, up-to-date software not only improves performance, but also keeps your computer secure. Our final step is optimizing your startup. This is a crucial task that can help expedite your computer's boot time, making your system ready to use in a jiffy. Now, you might be wondering, how does managing startup programs speed up my computer? Well, let me explain. Every time you power on your computer, several applications are set to run automatically. These are called startup programs. While some of these are essential for your system's operation, others may not be. These unnecessary programs can slow down your computer's startup time as they consume precious resources during boot. Think of it like this. You're trying to get out the door in the morning, but first you need to feed your pets, make breakfast, check your emails, and maybe even squeeze in a quick workout. These tasks, while important, can slow you down, and it's the same with your computer. The more it has to do at startup, the longer it takes to be ready for use. So, how do we manage these startup programs? It's simpler than you may think. On most operating systems, you can access a list of startup programs via the system settings. From here, you can decide which apps should and shouldn't run at startup. Remember though, some programs are essential for your computer to run properly, so be careful not to disable anything important. When in doubt, it's best to do a quick online search to understand what a program does before deciding to disable it. Now, don't expect your computer to boot up in a second after managing your startup programs. The improvement will be gradual and will depend on the number of programs you've managed to disable. But over time, you'll notice a significant reduction in your computer's boot time, making your system more efficient and ready to use when you need it. By managing your startup programs, you can significantly reduce your computer's boot time. And isn't that a sweet victory? You've just learned how to optimize your startup, a crucial step to improving your computer's performance. So go ahead, give it a try, and watch your computer spring to life quicker than before. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We've navigated the often tricky territory of tech maintenance, with a focus on enhancing your computer's performance. Firstly, we delved into the importance of cleaning up your hard drive. That's right, decluttering isn't just for your physical space. It's amazing how freeing up some digital real estate can breathe new life into your machine. Next, we emphasize the significance of keeping your software up to date. This is not just about having the latest features, but also about ensuring your computer is secure and running as smoothly as possible. Lastly, we explored the world of startup optimization. By carefully managing which programs launch when your computer starts, you can save precious time and resources. With these steps, you should notice a significant improvement in your computer's performance. Remember, a well-maintained computer is a fast computer. Until next time, keep exploring and learning, and 